Welcome to this demonstration of the ISMS framework in Marvim. Here we see the Marvim ISMS framework. First of all, we see the ISMS processes and the business processes. The different information components are divided in these W categories. In the Y category, we can find all the risks, causes, consequences, laws and regulations, and defined controls. When we take a deeper look at the laws and regulations, we see, for example, the ISO standard. In the where category, we can find information like the organization and locations. In the who category, we see the employees, job roles, teams, and external stakeholders. In the with what category, we see definitions, documents, but also assets like the IT infrastructure and applications. When we open the information groups in the with what category, we see all the available information groups. When we click on one of the information groups, we see who the owner is, the CIA security level, the risks, causes, consequences, but also the connected ISO regulations. We can also navigate to the assets. Let's take a look at the systems, applications and software and create a new asset. We can see that a standard field set has been assigned to this topic. When we fill it in, we are directly sent to the correct group of information and only need to indicate which specific topic needs to be assigned. We can also indicate what the CIA values are and indicate which risks could occur, the likelihood and consequences. Next we can indicate which ISO regulations are connected. Eventually you do this for all information components, which gives you the possibility to create reports like the one shown here, where we can show the assets, the CIA values, connected risks, owner, likelihood, impact and regulations, defined controls and connected processes. All these information components are clickable, so we can easily find more information on these topics. Now we'll be taking a look at the publication side of the ISMS framework, where stakeholders can find information, give feedback and collaborate. Here we see the ISMS start page in the SharePoint portal. This can also be generated for your intranet or Office 365 portal. From this start page, we can navigate to all important information, like the ISMS processes, business processes, assets, and laws and regulations. In this example, we'll navigate to the processes of the organization. Here we see a chart with the business processes and connected assets. If we click on the process accounts payable, the screen on the right gives us more information, like the ISMS owner and CIA values for the various security levels. We can also take a look at the connected application FinSys. Here we see which processes are connected, the CIA values, risk attributes and regulations. If we click on the regulation, we can find more information about it. Because end users can give feedback on this information, you make sure information is up to date and make sure your organization can work on their continuous improvement cycle. Want to know more? Click here.